my name is Kayla O'Neill. I am a media personality, so which means I'm a radio host, I am a TV host, I am a fashion blogger, I am a tomboy and everything nice. This is who I am. The nature of my job has kind of made makeup a part of my life. Do you see what I mean? Because you know when you're in secondary school, you know, you're eager when you're about to get, when you're getting into your, uh, your, you know, uh, late teens, early 20s, you know, you're like, okay, I have to do this, I have to do that. But I, I think in my early 20s, I was not very interested in makeup because I, I you know, I, I would hear people make com- comments like, oh, you're very pretty, you're this, you're that, and this is me without makeup. So it got to a point in my life where I didn't really care much for makeup, but I've always liked makeup. Do you see what I mean? I was in uni uh, doing makeup for people just because I liked it and I just did that. So I could go without or with it. I used to like my nose, okay? And then all of a sudden it just seemed that it was bigger for no reason. Like it just seemed like my nose became bigger. So I would just say, I wish my nose was smaller. I wish my nose was this. I wish my nose was that. But it wasn't anything that affected my self-confidence. So I would say that maybe when I'm out, I'm thinking, oh my God, everyone is looking at my nose. No, it wasn't that serious. Maybe when I'm doing my makeup, I'll be like, ah, why? I just wish my nose was just, do you understand? Yeah. Makeup, oh, makeup enhances my beauty. I can't even lie. Like, um, it gives me a different look. And you know, there are days that you, I, I just feel like, you know what, I want to glam up and just look extra so I put on some makeup. One of the reasons why I joined the radio was because no one could see my face so no one could really tell whether I was wearing makeup or not but I now got in in at the time uh, just a few years after I started when you know you're alive 24 hours people are watching you around the world so there's that pressure celebrities would just show up for an interview in the studio and then you just see like 10 cameras and you're looking like you know you haven't slept in three days so I just had to, you know, always have makeup in my bag, whatever. So, and then it got so worse because it almost seemed like packaging. So that's the time, you know, so before when the celebrities come in, it's more like just them coming and taking selfies, but now they're coming like a full crew. And then you see yourself on, you can even see yourself in, on, on TV in London. I'm a tomboy. Um, I, I always say that, but people don't know, but I'm just that tomboy that likes to play dress up. So weird. I don't know how you match that together. A guy has never toasted me when I'm with my heels and it is when I'm, it is the day that I'm just like, well, let me just stroll. And I feel like I'm not looking my best. That's when I meet people. Um, there was a time that I was in a relationship when, where I used to, you know, I, 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 I used to just be very conscious, you know, I just like, you know, I just had that thing in my head that, okay, you're dating someone, so you always have to. And the guy would just, I just noticed that he didn't, those things never mattered to him. Do you know what I mean? Because he just said to me, you're very clean and you're pretty the way you are, you know? So he would tell me, oh no. Or if I say, oh, and maybe I'm just having a conversation with him. I say, oh, my, you know, my tummy is coming out. He's like, which tummy? Guys, I don't like my arms. Um, it's not like it's bad, but you know how, no matter how confident how confident you are, there are certain things that just bother you for no reason, so silly. My arms, I always feel like, oh my goodness, my arms are big. But look at me, I'm here today having this interview with my arms out. Like, that is, for me, that is self-confidence. Just you accepting who you are. It doesn't mean that um, I wouldn't, you know, cover it up if I wish, but it means that I am confident of who I am, my body, the way it is. I'm grateful. You know, they, the world has their standards for beauty. Kim Kardashian, all these women, good, they're beautiful. But the moment you start appreciating yourself the way you are, you see my nose when I started saying, this nose, Seth, there's nothing I can do about it. I don't want to use anything on it. It's beautiful. That is the start of great things to happen for you. Remember, it was God that created you and God can never make a mistake. Trust me. Anybody who's telling you you're not beautiful, they have self-confidence issues. So they need to share it. They need to also spread that negativity so that you also can feel less of yourself. Whether you have lines or smile lines or frown lines or big eyes or big nose or whatever, make that thing that gives you less confidence work for you. After a while, they'll stop talking. Hi, my name is Kayla Oliwo, the sexy superhero, and I have been stripped by Ndani.